It was the seventh day of December. In the seventh year of President Marcus's administration, and the 77th day after the proclamation of martial law. We are gathered here this afternoon to celebrate beauty and cleanliness. When we bring the sparkle of cleanliness to our community... We were giving awards, and suddenly there was a man with a, a dark suit and had a bolo right inside his sleeve. That fraction of a second, oh God, I said, if there's somebody who's going to kill me, why do they have to, Lord, why is it to be a, um, a bolo that is so ugly? It should have been such an, some, I wish they put some kind of a yellow ribbon or a bu uh, some kind of a nice thing with this kind of an ugly instrument. Why, why such an ugly instrument uh, to, to kill me, I said. Anyway, I was still joking at that point. In fact, when this man was hitting me with his bolo, I looked around. I said, I wonder who is, whom he is about to kill. Little did I know that it was going to me. He, he came in and closer and said, ah, ah, it's me. feel any pain yet and that I had all this 11 cuts eventually this one here and all of this was cut off dangling I was going to have plastic surgery so that the scars would not show and Mark said no no don't touch it don't don't have this plastic surgery because it is your badge of courage, he said. There was absolutely no reason why I could have escaped that assassin. And I said to myself, maybe the Lord saved my life because I was pretty generous in the giving, in the serving, in the caring for my fellow men. And uh, so from then on, I said, to myself, since the Lord had given me a second chance, I'm not only going to be excessively giving and serving and caring and extravagantly doing things for others, but I'm going to be selfless. I'll give it all. Mm -hmm. 